All right, guys, so this is the last video of this project. What I want to do now is show you how we can embed um, objects into our records as well as um, arrays. OK, so this is pretty easy. We're just going to go ahead and do an insert like we've been doing. So DB dot customers dot insert. And in here, we'll put in our curly braces and let's say um, First name, say Peter, last name, Carrie. All right, and let's give them an age of 28. Now, I also want to put an address. So let's say address, except this is going to be an embedded object or, or even an embedded document. Okay, so we'll put in some curly braces. And then we'll put street. Okay, so for street, we'll say 120 Main Street. Next, we'll do the city. So let's say Chicago. Um, and then we'll do the state. We'll say IL. And so let's do the zip or zip code, which I don't know. So I'm just going to put in anything. OK, so now he has an address. So let's go ahead and enter that in. And then let's do a DB dot customers dot find. And let's find by first name. And we want to find Peter. Actually, let's do a, a dot pretty at the end there. OK, so now you can see that address is an embedded object. It's an object within an object. We have the, the street, the city, the state, and the zip code. All right, now, now let's, let's, um, let's look at arrays, OK? So let's say that this customer, we want an array of services that they have. So let's do uh, DB dot customers. Actually, let's just create a new one for this. So we'll say insert. And we'll say first name. George. And last name. Uh, Lopez. George Lopez is a customer. OK, and let's say that he he has a couple services. So let's put in services and uh, we want to set that to an array. So put in some brackets and then we want this to be an array of objects. So this first one will be service underscore ID. And let's say uh, Linux underscore hosting. And it'll also have a, a service underscore name, which will be the readable name. So we'll say Linux hosting. All right. And then let's add, whoops. Actually, no. Is that, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So we'll put a comma, a comma there, another curly brace. And let's say service ID email hosting and then a comma and then we want the service name email hosting all right so now he has two services and let's say we also want another field called services count so we'll go after the um, array so right here and we'll say services underscore count and he has two all right so let's enter that and then we'll do db dot customers dot find and let's find where first name oh, geez, I can't type where first name is George what what did I do there db customers find I forgot the curly braces all right, so now George Lopez has two services. You can see it's an array of objects. 
He has the, the Linux hosting service and the email hosting, and then a services count of two. Now, in the array, we didn't have to put objects. This could be an array of, of strings. It could be an array of numbers. Um, it doesn't matter. But let's say we want to find just the services of this, of this customer. So we could say db.customers.find. And we'll say first name George. And then uh, what we want to do in the second parameter here is just say services one. Okay, and that gives us it gives us the ID of the customer, but then it just gives us his services. Um, now let's say we just wanted the service name of each one, so we could go back and instead of just saying services, we could say services dot service underscore name. Oops, what did I do there? Services dot service name. Actually, you know what? This, if we're going to do it this way, this has to be in quotes, I believe. There we go. So now it's just giving us the service name. So now let's say that we wanted to add a service to Peter's account. So we can say db dot customers dot update. And we want to do first name Peter. And then what we'll do is in the second parameter, we're going to put in some curly braces and we're going to use push. Okay, push is used to do just that, push onto an array. So or an object. So let's go push and we're going to open up another set of curly braces and say services. And then we're going to put a colon and another set of curly braces. And we're going to put service underscore ID. And we'll say um, domain, whoops, domain register. And let's give it a service name of domain registration okay so now let's do a find oh we're supposed to do George not not Peter um, all right well let's 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 look at George so DB dot customers dot find where first name is Peter okay and let's make that dot pretty okay so now you can see he has a services array with the domain register service and if we did do George it would have just added this on to it so um, so that's how we do it so I think that covers embedded objects and arrays pretty well um, hopefully you guys like this project yeah, it was kind of an introductory to MongoDB syntax. Um, obviously, we're going to be building web applications using other technologies along with MongoDB throughout the series. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next project.